Hello, people of the tubes. Hello. Welcome to Game Squid and, uh... Look at this woman. <laughs> I'm absolutely captivated by her beauty. <laughs> it looked like we entered the world of Tintin because she looked so manly and strange. Manly? I thought she looked amazingly soft. No, she didn't. She just looked a little bit manly in the face and then the hair was changed. No. Oh. <laughs> That's a great way to open any video. That's right. Go through the crowd. Surf it. <laughs> Surf it. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah, Florian. Um, I mean, have you experienced many bugs with this game so far? Mm, a few. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm a little bit worried about buying it because I'm waiting for some more patches to come out. Don't then. buy it, man. It's six, it, it's seventy euro. Really? On Amazon. Crap, that's a lot of money. Oh, that's some kind of premium edition. And on the other one, you got like one hour less gameplay. Oh, why would you want to pay the for the less superior one? I know, right? Oh, well, you, it'd be, it'd still be fifty or sixty euro. It's still dumb. <sighs> Unbelievable. That's really bad, man. I, I don't want to give him my money because it's so expensive. And you know what really annoys me? And uh, I think this is an argument that's been going on. For oh, here's a, while. a bug, for example. Oh, go on. <laughs> what the hell's going on there? <laughs> Invisible Vault, NPC. <laughs> uh, why is it we pay more for digital downloads than CDs? Is uh, it so Steam can keep all the money? It oh, it, it's stuff? pretty much just random how much you pay. Uh, there's a lot of things where it's... Well, I mean, uh, what, what the fuck was that? I don't know. How dare you? Anyways, it depends if it's on sale somewhere when you buy it. Oh look, Windows being retarded. Do you want to change your color scheme? No. <laughs> I'm alright, thank you. <laughs> Fucking I hell. Just, I think I just saw myself on Skype then. Ooh. <laughs> Freaky deaky. Skypeception. <laughs> oh, man, I'd love to get one of those old fashioned shaves. You know when <laughs> <laughs> I just saw a woman shaving a man and I was like, oh man, that looks so sweet. I want to do that. Be shaven, that is. You want to be taking the risk of being I cut? Like, it's not... I think they are professionals. It's not all like the demon barber of Fleet Street. They say there's a chest here, but I have yet to find it. You're trying very hard, I can see. It says it's right here. Show me your secrets. <laughs> You're just circling this man. He's just there like, I don't have anything. Give it to me! Give me the package. I have a map in my mind that tells me that there's a chest here. <laughs> <laughs> He's just there carving wood and so scared of you. Now that would be a, a, gr a good scene for a movie. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Why? What theme? Maybe what? someone has a map in his head. And he has uh, to, to to use it to save the world, but to all the people he seems really weird. <laughs> <laughs> the um, I've got an app on my phone. I haven't ever <laughs> played it, but there's uh, there's these virtual reality games where people place these like virtual packages, and then you can pick them up and things like that. Uh, and then there's another one that's like zombies, and you basically you you hold the camera out. And then you can see zombies coming towards you and stuff mm. in the real world. They had something like that in Saints Row 5. Oh, where, you, where you could start your phone and you'd see zombies or aliens or whatever. Oh man, they had that. In, they had those weird mini game stuff in uh, Watch Dogs as well. They were fun. Oh, that. I guess I meant Watch Dogs. That's yeah, amazing I how I got that wrong. Saints Row 5. Is that even out? Well, the newest one either way. I, I think they had that too, actually, so it I makes sense. Um, yeah, the uh, I loved being the giant spider in Watch Dogs, uh, man. That was so much fun. The spider? I don't remember that. You didn't play the uh, the giant mechanical spider in Watch Dogs? You could be that. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you basically <laughs> you um, you could jump from building to building. Oh wow! And then, uh, like fire lasers and rockets and <laughs> kill all these innocent people. <laughs> Holy shit! You need to reinstall that game and play that mini game. It was so much fun. Are you sure? You know, what? Yeah. all I'd be doing is recording myself shooting people in the ass. 
It's so much fun. <laughs> I like the Ash. Not leave uh, yes. The game looks a lot better now for some reason. Yeah. Than it, the last one. Oh, it does. Mm. Mm, no, it looks it looks really good. I think it looks about the same. Is it one of those games where mirrors don't actually reflect? I, could just I guess so. Yeah, I, I just... You went to a mirror then and all you saw was darkness. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is just the, the Assassin's Creed where you're a vampire. Can't you tell by how gay he is? He looks really gay. I know, right? It's clearly one of those vampires. <laughs> Although, Florian, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, he kinda now, looks like you. <laughs> yes, it's true. <laughs> Can you make your own character in, in this I game? No. I oh, see, there you go. Oh, here he is. Admiring his beauty. I, I, I guess you're true. I should dress like this. Ah, oh, you'd look pretty cool if you were dressed like that. I'd look quite a lot like him, yes. <laughs> oh, that smile. <laughs> that cheeky, cheeky smile. Oh, yeah, he's he, he just stole that dress off that guy. <laughs> Are we gonna see his? Uh, have you seen his uh, assassin's robe yet? No. Nope. Oh wow, God. This is not o not even an hour in yet. It takes a while to build up to these uh, assassin's creed games. Yeah, all we do now is mingle with high society. Great. Eighteenth uh, century, the video game. In fact, I don't even know what century this is. I think it's 18, yeah. Might be wrong. Wait, no, they don't have. Oh, they didn't have cars, did they? They don't have cars in it. There's still a king in France, so I guess that might help pinpoint. <laughs> or the fact that it's the, the revolution in the game. I really don't know. Well, that was either 17 or 18. Uh, this isn't a spoiler because it's in all the reviews, but in the game, you time travel. Did you know that? What, the old, uh, this guy here, time travels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, I guess it makes sense. I, I, I think it's, I don't think he time traveled on purpose, but I think you go into, I, I don't know how it works because the reviewer, you know, kept it secret, but basically there's parts where you go back in French history, like you go to World War Two times and even further back than that and stuff. Oh, so you mean the, the the future guy time travels back to the past? No, no, this guy. I think. Well, I don't know. But uh, oh, he travels into the future. No, he travels into the past. Or different if points of time in France. I, if that, he that if he travels to World War Two, he travels into the future. Oh, he did. oh right, okay. <laughs> I clearly <laughs> don't. Yeah, that doesn't make sense, does it? Why would I think this is? After World War II. <laughs> <laughs> it could oh, be a fancy France. dress party. <laughs> I guess because uh, France wasn't involved in the war of uh, <laughs> cowards, they were living a lot better than the rest of us, weren't oh, they? Oh yeah, being invaded <laughs> by, by Nazi Germany. Yeah, they didn't have any problems like we did. They, they were just <laughs> in high society just because they were cowards. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh man. I'm so stupid, man. <laughs> I try not to be. I, you know, I ask me anything about computers and I'll answer it. Servers, mm. yeah, but fuck anything else. I'm just so thick. Fuck anything else. I see. <laughs> anything that moves or even breathes. Didn't have to breathe. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, in fact. There was a news article, a news story in England where uh, a guy in Wales, uh, which is like down south from where I live, and uh, oh, look, they're really blurry too. The mirrors are I gone. Oh God, they look <laughs> terrible. They oh, and look, mirrors. this is good. I can't go through here. So what do you do? They Can designed this so you could stealth around, and then they thought, yes, let's make him not be able to go through there. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm really happy that they finally brought back stealth controls in Assassin's Creed, or finally implemented it. Yeah, there's so much stealthing, it's ridiculous. Anyways, about whales. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, the, uh, basically, a, a couple who owns a hotel, they walked in on a guy who killed a woman and then was eating her face. 
he he apparently basically had an eyeball hanging from his mouth. Oh. And uh, he was a uh, like a 22 year old hobo or something. Oh. So he's like kind of my age. He could have been older. And uh, the police, they tasered him, and then he had a heart attack because they tasered him. That is the most amazing story ever told. I know. But they they should funny. make a movie out of it. I know zombies, man. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a real thing. Not zombie. <laughs> Could you imagine if you were a, ho a hobo? What's keeping you from being a criminal? All you can do is improve yourself by going to prison. Uh, yeah, that's true. I mean, you, you, it's basically you could do any crime you want. You could go to prison, and then you'd be better off than on the street. Oh yeah, especially in England, man. We treat them like kings in fucking prison. But then again, I guess hobos don't live too bad in the civilized world. It's only in the in other countries, or if they're illegal immigrants, then they are not so good. Are you saying hobos don't have it so bad in certain countries? Well, supposedly they could get shelter and food anywhere they wanted. Yeah, they they do get shelter and like they don't always get shelter, but they they do get food. They are places where they walk in, uh, like um, Salvation Army, which we have in the UK. That's that's for hobos to walk in and get some food, but they don't exactly get homes or anything. I mean, you don't see that many homeless people in the UK, really. Not not like when I've been on holiday and you've got. Well, they must get homes. They would freeze to death otherwise. Uh, <laughs> frozen hobo walking past one. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine. The last thing you see is his arm extended out for another penny. <laughs> <laughs> He's just frozen in place like a statue. Oh, there are some pretty sad hobos. I saw one the other day. He was just twitching on the ground. Oh, that's so sad. Do you ever give them money? Sometimes. I give them money. Because I think, and I don't care what they do with it. You know, fuck it. If they want the money, they can have the money. But then I s I've gone to like the bigger cities in the UK like uh, Manchester and I have been London but only once and the oh my god this one guy was just like absolutely screaming at this whole boy he was like I'm not giving you any fucking money I work all my life uh, why should I give it to you and he's just like holy shit give the guy a break he's homeless <laughs> <laughs> it was so cruel but I don't know, it's some people's opinions, I guess, but man, <laughs> some people's opinions are just fucking wrong. How dare you be homeless? <laughs> yeah, you're offending me. <laughs> me? Are you wearing a dress? Oh, yeah, the little girl has grown up. Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be better. <laughs> Oh, the unity has brought Mr. out the paedophiles in us. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um... There's never been a, a love interest You're like this. Like the... Uh, I guess Ezio mm. had it a bit, right? But then it ended? Oh, no, no, no. oh yeah, he did. Mm. What? Sure he I had a lot of love in his life. <laughs> a lot of... <laughs> a lot of conquest. <laughs> It was quite a romancer, yeah, so, yeah, I think he had a <laughs> bit of love in his life. Oh man, I'd love, to, I'd, I'd like to be involved in these times. They look fun. Like, I guess I'd have to be rich in these times. Yeah, you definitely have to be rich. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd just be rebelling. Yeah, I heard, uh... Oh, here, let's, let's save at this fountain. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were serious then. <laughs> I was. The fountain... <laughs> Did you try and do it? The, the fountain of Prince of Persia. <laughs> oh, that's a nice Easter egg. <laughs> you clearly put that in the game because of Ubisoft. <laughs> um, yeah, I heard you can descend buildings and stuff a lot more quickly now. Yeah, you can uh, just jump down and not take fall damage, just like always. No, yeah, well, no, because apparently you used to go in a hay bale, but now you can just like press a button and you can climb down really quickly. Is that not true? I'm not sure, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't even figured out how to use medicine yet, I should really do that. Man, that's the thing. I don't think you regenerate health any other way in this game. Uh, I don't think you never, you could never. 
I think the only way you could generate health is by being sneaky for like a long time. Oh I god. Uh, I always took medicine and then I killed everyone. No, it looks like you've been forced to be sneaky this time, Florian. No, I will just buy the medicine whenever I get to it. Actually, I think that's what I did in the old ones. In, uh, in, in the 3 and 2. I don't know, I... Uh, there this time, no more sneaking. This is how real assassinations work. <laughs> not even assassinate, he's just being a dick. Yes. I mean, I, I, that's what I mean, I don't understand why he's a threat. Or why he has... He, oh, is this because he's in... I don't know, I don't get it. But then again, I'm not playing the game, so why should I? What, twice? Oh, well... I guess it's surprising that they're actually attacking you, considering you don't do anything. Yeah, I mean, like, why shouldn't you be there? Because but you, that you could easily die in these times if you just look the wrong way at guards. Yeah, I think they... Yeah, probably. I don't know. Life wasn't valued like it is now. Yeah, there's too many people alive nowadays. That's not what I said. <laughs> Sorry, that's what your opinion. I can't believe you want to kill more people. After all the killing you've done already. <laughs> <laughs> He's never enough for you. Oh, I don't have enough health to kill these two, though. If only I could figure out the medicine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, I, I don't know how you bring out your inventory. I always played it with a controller, so... Look how lame this is. You're supposed to s to wait here until the guy comes back. Fun. I know, right? Fucking stills. <laughs> it's weird because the Assassin's Creed games were, were uh, you know, they're a game where you can, uh, you meant to be stealth, but you didn't have a crouch button until this game. Like, you couldn't crouch in any of the other Assassin's Creed. I know, right? That was so silly. You always had to hide in bushes. It was the only way to crouch. And even then, you didn't crouch very well. You were still quite noticeable. I know, the, like, it was so bad, the stealth in those. Well, I know. It's really weird, isn't it? And then it's like, oh my god, it took us a next right, generation of consoles and a 70 champagne. euro price tag to enable the crouch button. <laughs> it really sure. didn't make sense. Oh, look, this guy's bleeding. Oh god. Can we save him? Oh, sure, let's try. Well, kissing him ain't gonna help. It might. Maybe we should loot him. <laughs> oh no, a murder! Oh, he did it, didn't he? Yeah, it was clearly me. <laughs> but don't worry about the two guards I killed early. I'm sure those are fine too. Yeah, I didn't see anything. <laughs> oh. oh, oh, well, that, you, you completed it apparently. Oh well. Yay, you won. Find out if I'll get framed for this murder. Next time. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.